G'day folks and welcome to episode 4 of the Find the Critter series, where today we do battle with the enigmatic ghost pipefish from the family Selenus stomidae. Chances are if you're not into muck diving, you've probably never heard of it, and you might never have heard of these little suckers, let alone seen one. And among dive guides and fish geeks like myself, all throughout the Indo-Pacific, they are one of the most exciting underwater critters to find, to shoot or to show off to others. So after a brief introduction, I'll show you how to find your own through 10 levels of difficulty in the Find the Critter Challenge. There are fewer than 10 species of this family, and they are all very similar in body shape and behaviour. So it's worth quickly running through the most common species and learn what sort of habitats you're most likely to find them in. Places with black corals, hydroids and crinoids are great for the ornate ghost pipefish. If you find yourself in Halomedia green algae beds, which are colour-wise made up of the living green parts and white dead skeleton of the algae, then look for the Halomedia ghost pipefish, perfectly suited to both options. On sea grassy areas, look for the long tail ghost pipefish, and pretty much everywhere tropical you can find the robust ghost pipefish. If you find yourself in a patch of coral rubble, which is common on every reef, areas with red algae and hydroids, you can find my personal favourite, the hairy ghost pipefish. They come in red and pink most often. These aren't hard and fast rules though, and often the easiest critters to find are the ones in the wrong place or wearing the wrong colours. The family name roughly translates to tube mouth, which they use to suck up tiny crustaceans like these mycids, a type of small shrimp. This little fella is rushing into the strike zone. Is that too fast? Let's try another one. Unfortunately, this footage was shot at only 25 frames per second, so we can't see much detail even if we slow it right down, but we can measure the time from the moment the shrimp is noticed coming into range. It takes about 18 20 fifths of a second to get into position, then 1 20 fifth of a second to tilt the head back and suck in the prey. Too fast even for all the other mycids to even flinch. Bob was there, then not there. Nobody even noticed. I've also witnessed a ghost pipefish eating small fish. I saw this female diving out of shot, but only realised after I'd missed the shot that she was hunting a small wrasse. It was a juvenile two-spot wrasse, like this one, that found itself hiding under a flamboyant cuttlefish. When it leaves safety and enters the cuttlefish strike zone, the cuttlefish gets flamboyant. And this lucky wrasse got away but unfortunately I missed the eating shot but you can see here the tiny victim in the mouth and one more suck and it's gone up into the stomach. The group isn't well studied because they spend most of their lives floating around in the plankton. It's only when they settle on the bottom, still mostly transparent like this youngster, that we are likely to come across them. They're related to true pipefish and seahorses and share the tube mouth and bony body armour, but they are opposite in their reproductive habits. Where male seahorses and pipefish carry the eggs until development, in ghost pipefish it's the females who carry the eggs in a pouch created by holding their large pelvic fins together. Water is pumped over the eggs to keep them aerated as they develop and eventually tiny eyes become visible. The males are much skinnier and lack that pouch, which makes it easy to tell who's who. They're often found in pairs and reportedly mate for life, but that's probably not long because they're also reported to only reproduce once in their short lives. So now you know what you're looking for, we'll get into the challenge. Each level will begin with 10 seconds to spot them as you might come across them on a dive, followed by closer and more obvious shots. They take on the challenge if you want a better chance of spotting the next ghost pipe fish you swim past. Good luck and happy critter spotting.
if you enjoyed or learned anything from this video, please like, share and subscribe and tell me in the comments what marine critters you'd like help to find. I'm Josh from Undersea Productions, thanks for watching.